welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy and I are headed to a little town about 30 miles south from our house to an estate sale today just to see what they have. And there is nothing in between our house and this next town except cornfields and lots of fields that have been harvested already and like there's just nothing okay <laughs> so it's a really boring drive but we're headed that way i hope you're all having a great day today and we will see you back in a few minutes we are here this is a large piece of property with lots and lots of buildings, but I don't plan to go in all the different buildings. I just plan to go in the main house. I don't, I'm not looking for stuff in shops and barns and, um, what else are that? Potting sheds and greenhouses and all kinds of stuff. So, yes. Oh, there's people lined up to get in. What time is it? 11.56. They open at 12. And there are people lined up to get in at the front door and the back door or the side door <laughs> wow golly there's already a lot of people here what's the happiness day because it is the last day so everything is half price They got enough room getting their doors open yeah. at all. Okay, we are headed over the hill into a town called Columbia, Louisiana. This is about 30 miles south from our house, and it's just a really small town. Sorry about my camera skills, I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> but it's really a really small town. Um, but something I was going to tell you about this town is over here, I don't know how well you can see this little area over there, but that is where the movie Finding Normal was filmed here in Columbia, Louisiana. And that is a really cool movie. It's a really um, wholesome family movie. Um, I don't know where it's available on streaming. I think it used to be on Netflix, but I'm not sure where it's at now. I mean, you know, where you can find it, but the name of it is Finding Normal, and it was filmed in Columbia, Louisiana. So, and this is a lot of the town area that they had in the movie. So, it's kind of neat to see the downtown area where the movie was filmed, and it's kind of neat. Like, after I watched the movie, I had to come back down here and look to see, like, where people were standing in the movie and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And now we are, we're just going to kind of make a little loop through here so you can see the uh, little downtown area where that movie was filmed. 
and then we're going to head on further into Columbia to get something to drink. I need a drink. I mean a um, sonic drink. <laughs> You're supposed to go up and down that little road, and it is scary to drive that to me to go up. <laughs> to go up on the levee, and there's the Washita River, which also runs through my town. Nice. I have a little uh, picnic tables there. So where do you park? I don't know where you park. Park down, back down that way and walk up. I don't know. Not that I want to do that. Pull out for a second, Gabby. On a day like today. Yeah, we got a little bit yeah. up today. Some hot out there. You can stay out there very long. We have beef falling off the bone. Well, maybe that's what we need to do. <laughs> Sonic to get me a slush. It is hot, hot, hot. Okay, this is what I got at Sonic, and I got a size large. This is a strawberry shortcake snowball slush. So it is a strawberry slush in the bottom, and then it has ice cream, and it has like, I don't know, some kind of sugar crystals, I guess, over that. But anyway, it's really good, the slush and the ice cream together. So I'm addicted to these. <laughs> And the football field started about here. We are about five miles from our house, um, a little place called Log Town. And this is where um, Big Daddy went to school. Right here on this corner it used to be a school here. And he went to school there for a little while up until I don't sixth know, grade. Sixth grade. And then he changed to a little private Pentecost school. But anyway, this little area is called Log Town, and we're driving down here to share with you. Um, this is the front driveway. This is Missy the front driveway. and Jace Robertson from Duck Dynasty. They have a um, place out here, the Log Town Plantation. And so we're just going to drive there to uh, drive by there to share that with you guys. So we are up on the levee again. Yeah. This is Washita River to my yeah, right. We, used to, we used to ride a school bus down this road every morning. When really? I was in kindergarten, yeah. We would, we would drop the kids off at, at, at Long Town when I was in kindergarten, and then we'd go to kindergarten down at Hemp House. Oh, it was that, it was that little uh, red, what was it called? Little Red School House or something? No, Hemp Faust. Oh. Roads bumpy as ours. Yeah, it's always been bumpy. That's the river down there. That's not it. Huh? That's not it. No. Uh, that's it. 
end of this road will be the the Bill Carriage house. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Gonna have mine's gonna turn off. It'll take you to I don't know if you, the ruins of it are still there anymore. It'll be something to go look and see. Of oh, what? Since we're here for school. I doubt it since they tore this other one down. Okay, we went on down the road and turned around, and we're coming back to the Logtown Plantation. But the, Jody says that the plantation house actually burned down many years ago, that this is actually the carriage house. And so this is a bed and breakfast that is owned by... Um, Jace. Jace and Missy Roberts. You can look that up online and see the inside of that house. It has some beautiful rooms. Um, that, people also have weddings here. Like they have a lots of events and stuff here. And this is about five, six miles from our house. Anyway, and there's a highway right back, way back there where those trees are. That's the highway. Just down that same road, we're still up on the levee. There's a little cemetery right here. How old do you think this cemetery is? Oh, it's 100 years or more. more yeah, than 100 years. more than 100 years. Yeah, it's, there's, there's graves in here that date back to the Civil War. He said it's the graves that date back to the Civil War for sure, so. I do have family members who buried out there. Somebody's keeping it mowed very well. Huh? Said so somebody's keeping it mowed. Yep. Sorry. So, yeah, we're still up on the levee, just driving by. <laughs> this takes us back to the highway, or we can go on around, and that will take us back to the highway. Going around. Oh, we're going to turn around and come back. Oh. Huh? Why? Then we come back out on Long Road. Oh, straight across yep, from straight our across road. Road. But we can ride to Sunday afternoon, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, the river is just right here. Yeah, just through those trees. Through those trees. I was trying to see if we got to a place where see it in a second. I could actually see the river. Not really. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, through those trees you can't see it, but... Farmland. It's all out here. All oh, that it's out here is what I meant to say. This might take us down to Mama Johnson Road where it comes back. Yeah, let's turn around and go back up 841 though. I'm 
just pour it straight out the river. I see that. Show y'all the Washington River. This was the, the kitchen, uh -huh. the dining room, the kitchen, everything. In fact, where that slab is. I swore we made a mile in that river. We are almost home. We're back on the road that winds around our house and. There's nothing here. <laughs> Cornfield that's already been harvested. That's what we have. But I will show you the uh, racetrack just before we get to our house. There's a Twin City Drag racetrack. Now this is Dead Man's Curve. Okay, so this is Twin City Drag Raceway where they have drag races on Saturday nights. We're about three miles from our house, and we can definitely hear the drag racing on Saturday nights at our house. Very clearly. So, they have stands up here for people to sit in and watch the drag races. Now, I have never came to the drag races before. That's not something that interests me, but... There is where it all begins. I wonder if that golf cart, I mean, if that go uh, kart track still does. No, somebody, they built houses there. That's part of WMA here. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share with y'all the Twin City yeah. Drag Raceway. Something's there. Hey friends, we have made it back home, and we was, really wasn't gone that long, but it wore me out anyway. Still drinking on my Sonic drink. Sassy needs to walk past. <laughs> moving along, moving along. So, I thought I would share with you guys what I got at the estate sale. I really didn't get that much. I mean, I didn't spend that much, but... I really like what I got. <laughs> so first up, I got this Shirley Temple doll. Um, I tell you why I got her. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you why <laughs> I got her. Um, growing up, my sister had this same exact Shirley Temple doll, but I never got to play with her. Like I never got to touch her. So, ever since my sister passed away in 2020, I've wondered what happened to her Shirley Temple doll, because I know she still had her as an adult. Anyway, and so I saw her sitting in a display case, and so I grabbed her up. <laughs> she looks exactly like the doll my sister had. So, now I have my own Shirley Temple doll. Let's see, I saw this little Asian doll, this little Asian boy. He's a, I don't know if he, he's about the size of my 18 inch tall dolls. And so I just thought he was cute, a little Asian doll. So that's why I kind of grabbed him up. I thought he was about the size of my um, 18 inch dolls. And he's something different, you know. I like dolls that look different. Let's see, who else did I got? And then, I got some really tall dolls. Woohoo! Let's see. Yeah, she rode the um, top of the car on the way home. <laughs> um, I'm going to get some fabric softener and fix her hair. But anyway, I don't, I'm not sure how tall she is. I'm thinking she... It's about the size of maybe 
how tall you think she yeah, is? At least 18 inch. At least 18 inch, but I have I have a, a couple of 24 inch dolls. And so I was thinking that some of these that I picked up was about the size of them, the height. Anyway, so I picked her up. I'm, I, I can tell she's an older doll, you know. But anyway, got her. And then a lot going along that same height of a doll is this one, but she has a different face. And I was trying to make sure they had different faces. Because I don't want the same doll with, you know, the same face. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to end up crocheting some dresses for them. Now this one's feet are smaller than hers. But uh, I am going to crochet some dresses for them. Yeah, they're the same height. And then this one is marked a Chrissy doll. But she has dark hair. She has a bonnet. Now she does have some blonde hair. So I don't think she's a true Chrissy doll. I think one that I have over here is a Chrissy doll. I don't believe this one is. Please tell me if you know different. But I don't think she's a Chrissy doll. I think she's just one of these dolls like this. That's just a really tall doll. Now this one, I believe, is a Chrissy doll, and it does say that she's a Chrissy doll, and I got her because um, I like the color of her hair, and I'm going to get some, I'm going to wash her hair, it feels nasty, <laughs> I'm going to wash her hair and get some, yeah, and get some fabric softener and put in the, her hair and fix her hair up good and she has on some orange undies that match her little dress and I'll put that in the washer and clean up her boots give her a good cleaning and I think she'll be really cute I might end up um let's see she has a pool thing oh she has something on her back I believe her hair grows or something like that yeah let's see it probably doesn't work, but let's see. Okay. Yeah, her hair kind of pulls out. When I turn the dial, it loosens up that hair. Maybe go back in. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can. Um, <laughs> I'm going to see how long, how much I can pull out though. Oh, it's still pulling out. Oh, she's got a lot of hair to wash and try to, try to brush out. Yeah, I, that's why I don't think that other doll is a Chrissy doll. And then let's see if I turn the knob the other way. Let's see if her hair goes back in. Yeah, it's getting a little shorter. Yep, you can probably see it going up now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get it out as far as it will come out and wash her hair good. Yeah. So anyway, she looks happy though. <laughs> she looks happy that I picked her up and brought her home with me. Huh? Big Daddy says she left one museum to come to another. And then I picked this girl up. She's got tape in her hair, so I'm going to have to pull that out. But anyway, she just looks so happy. And that's why I got her. But she's a little bit chunkier at all. Um, she has on some red shoes, red pants, and a vintage striped shirt. I mean, is that retro or what? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what kind of doll she is. And if you know, you're welcome to tell me below. Sassy's moving the camera. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I picked her up really because of her, the color of her hair because that's just, it's really hard to find red-headed dolls. Um, a lot of times, even the 
dolls at like Target or Walmart. Um, if there is a red-headed version of the doll, it's hard to find it. <laughs> but anyway, that's why I got her. I thought she was cute. And she looks extremely happy to be here. Okay, this next doll that I got, I think he's the last doll, isn't he? No, one more, is John Wayne. And I picked the him, Duke. the Duke. I picked him up because Big Daddy likes John Wayne. Although he said he didn't want him. He said, if you want him, get him, but don't get him because of me. But I got him because of him, because um, he does like John Wayne. And I don't mind having, yeah. I don't. I don't mind having John Wayne in my collection. And he did come with a cowboy hat. Um, that has not even been opened. And a rifle. So I'll have to um, put his hat on him. But anyway, I thought he was um, impressive looking. Because it, it does look like him. It really does. And he's the same height as these dolls. Well, it's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter than Sassy. Could you walk a little faster? <laughs> um, but anyway, I thought he was a handsome fella. And then the last doll that I got is... Dick Tracy. <laughs> I just picked him up because he is Dick Tracy and you know he's a um a figure that people do recognize and know. And so yeah, I like his yellow raincoat and his yellow hat. So I can use him in some of my doll photo scenes and stuff. They had some others that go with his series, but he was the only one I was really interested in. But this house had three doll rooms, one downstairs and two upstairs. Those were just the showrooms. And those were just the showrooms. There was dolls throughout the whole house. Like every room had dolls in it somewhere or another. And then there was like curio cabinets with dolls in them. But the doll rooms themselves had the... the yeah, and the Barbie doll room, which I did not get to film because it was packed with people every time I tried to go in there. It had beautiful, beautiful display cabinets, and they're lighted display cabinets around the walls with the Barbies on stands in there. Um, very beautiful. I know the lady who... Yeah, a lot of money went into that room. Like, not just the dolls itself, but the display cases. The um, the Barbie doll room upstairs had display cases like that. And then, then there was a baby doll room upstairs that had just all kinds of dolls, like crazy amount of dolls. And then downstairs, there was another doll room that also had display cases um, built in that was lighted and all that. And it had more collector type dolls, um, old dolls. And that is where I got Shirley Temple. I got her out of that room. But it was just, those cases were crammed full of dolls. And the room was crammed full of people. I would like to have been able to film in that room and the Orbit doll room just to show you an idea of what it looked like. But it was so many people. And not only was it so many people, because it was so many people, it was so hot. It was so hot in there because it was just like, you know, 30 people crammed in a room <laughs> trying to look at dolls. And, um, yeah, it was very crowded and it was hard to look at the dolls. Big Daddy, do you see Sassy? <laughs> But anyway, it was, um, it was something to see. The whole house is still full. Like, 
they had a sale last weekend and a sale this weekend. You could walk in there today and thought today was the first day of the sale because the house is completely stocked full of everything. I mean, it's full. A lady bought that house and mo is moving here from Oklahoma and the house was already full of stuff and so they're trying to get rid of all the stuff out of the house so she can move in it. <laughs> but anyway, that was really interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's trip, kind of like a vlog video. We, um, you know, just drove down there and then got something to drink and drove back home. <laughs> took a little Sunday drive and took you with us. So I appreciate you watching anyway. So listen guys, it's a beautiful day to crochet. I am going back to my desk to crochet on my rainbow blanket while this is uploading because I'm now to the dark blue shade of the rainbow. <laughs> so anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.